topping our news after days of searching, one person is safe, but three remain in an abandoned Raleigh County mine. Today we are learning more about the people, the crews that are also working to help save them and their families that wait, that continue to wait. 13 News reporter Adrian Robbins has much more on that story. There's so many dangers in an old, especially in old abandoned coal mines. There's water, there's bad air. And the list goes on and on. Greg Scarborough spent 30 years in the mines, right. but this week he's been stuck on the outside the waiting. I'm here for several reasons. One is my grandson is one of the the boy that's underground still. On Saturday, four people went into the Rock House Palatine mine, an abandoned mine in Raleigh County. Today, three remain after Eddie Williams emerged unharmed on Monday night. I just didn't know what to think. I couldn't believe she went in there. I mean, it's just mind boggling, you know? Uh, I just know how dangerous it is. Kayla Williams, Erica Treadway, and Greg's grandson, Cody Beverly, are still unaccounted for, though, after days of searching. There's not a lot we can do. All we can do is try to stay together. Our total dependency is upon MSHA and the mine rescue teams. Those teams plan to continue the search on Wednesday. They've got a protocol to go by to keep the rescuers that's going in safe. And all we're thinking about is getting our kids out of there. Raleigh County isn't a stranger to tragedy, specifically when it comes to the mines. I've been through the UBB disaster, preached several of the funerals for some of the men. They were very good friends of mine, buried them. And now here we are again. The community hoping this incident ends differently. Usually these things end up not very good. And so we still got some real heavy lifting to get to a good outcome here. I love him dearly. And my hope and prayer is that I'm going to get a hug him here soon. Reporting in Clear Creek, I'm Adrian Robbins, 13 News, working for you. Again, that search will continue tomorrow. The National Guard plans to bring in 18 additional soldiers and six Humvees to assist.